Well, Hotel Los Adrian, Senior Venegas here. Just want to give you a quick little update about what's going on this week. So, uh, in spelling, we are on word list 18, so they will have a test on Friday. Uh, during the Daily Five, we work with these words also. So, in our daily language learning, we are on pages 103 to 108. Uh, in the reading comprehension, in the Daily Five, we're on 102 to 107. Uh, we're on Rule 15 uh, in the Daily Five, which means we are looking at the tenses of verbs, if it's in the past, the present, or the future. And the spelling worksheets, we're on Week 18, and that is pages uh, 129 to 136. And the Rule 15 was on 113 to 120. So. There you go. Uh, today we are having our fractions uh, math test. We did a lot of review last week with Mr. Juan, and we've been working on it forever, and they should be really good to go. Uh, they should have it back by the end of today. And tomorrow we will be jumping into uh, our new topic, which is space and shape. So uh, Mr. Juan, over the next month, he'll be working along with the students. So he'll introduce the topics, have some lessons to go along with the actual Mathletics workbook. So we're still keeping the format the same, but Mr. Juan's gonna be kind of helping out a little bit more. So Mr. Juan is here all month. Uh, this is his second practicum with us. So by the end of the month, he should be doing around like 20 to 30% of the instruction alongside me. So he won't be doing it by himself. Uh, I'll be helping him out. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be working with him to make sure. So everything should be working just fine. He is gonna be doing math and some science, the whole building things that move. So we're going to start uh, to introduce the topic today and they should have a few days to build and we will be testing something else. Uh, right now we are still in the expository of writing topic of don't you think that dot dot dot. Um, tomorrow the good copy should be done. Uh, these, are, these are kind of, these due dates are uh, kind of like reminders of things that time markers to help them know when things should be done. Uh, the actual due date will be the day that they present uh, their slides. So they should have everything done by then. But this helps them kind of time manage that they know if they have something done by this day, they'll give them more time to do that. The slide should be done by Thursday, and they, they should be presenting Friday. And then all next week, we'll be filming with Wii Video. So uh, on Thursday, the 11th, we have our Chapter 5 social test. Uh, and we'll continue to review like we did last week. Uh, we'll be still working with... Um, the definitions. Uh, this one, there's going to be a big, a, a big component for a long answer. Uh, so they're going to have to pull pieces of information and relate it to the question. So I think they'll be doing, they'll do well at that, just because it kind of ties into the expository writing that we've been doing all year. So a few important dates that should be coming up. We have no school. Hooray! Uh, April 19th to 23rd for Easter. Uh, April 18th, it is the V market, so if your kids are working on something to sell, we'll be selling them that day. Um, we have our book fair, April 24th, the uh, Read It Me Again, the used book fair for the funds going to the children's hospital here at the school. And then we have our spring concert uh, that we've been practicing every single day uh, on May 22nd. Um, I'm, I think, uh, and this may change, but I'm pretty sure, um, but I'm pretty sure it won't. It's like 87% sure that our outfit for the spring concert would be like a black track suit. So something like Run DMC type of like black track suit for boys and girls, black on black on black on black. So uh, we're trying to let you guys know ahead of time so you can have a lot of time to find items. You don't need to really buy new things. You can always like borrow things from other families and whatnot, but uh, other than that, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Gracias.